dear students in this lecture we will discuss about structured analysis of problem we will discuss the objectives of structured analysis basic units of data flow diagram that is process data store data flow source or sink and developing the dfd model of the system steps of structured analysis to develop dfd model of the system and benefits of data flow diagrams structured what is structured analysis structured analysis of problem is the top down approach which focuses on refining the problem with the help of functions performed in the problem domain and data produced by the system major contributions to the development of structured analysis techniques have been made by gain and sarson in 1979 and de marco and jordan in 1978 the principles of structured an analysis includes top down decomposition approach and application of divide and conquer principle which means each high level function is independently decomposed into detailed functions objectives of structured analysis is to provide the graphical representation to develop new software or to enhance the existing software for the structured analysis of problem data flow diagrams are used as tool ieee defines data flow diagram as a diagram that depicts data sources data sinks data storage and processes performed on the data as nodes and logical flow of data as links between the nodes dfd are also called as data flow graph bubble chart or bubble graph dfd versus flow chart dfd should not be confused with the flow chart dfd represent the flow of data whereas the flow chart represent the flow of control or flow of logic what are the objectives of data flow diagrams dfd or data flow diagram represents the system data in hierarchical order with the required level of details dfd depicts the processes according to the defined user requirements and scope of software and to provide the overview of transformations that occur in the input data within the system to produce the output dfd depicts the flow of data within the system and considers a system that transforms the inputs into the required outputs when the system is complex then the data needs to be transformed by the various steps to produce the outputs these steps are required to refine the requirements the basic units of data flow diagram are the process data flow data store the source and sink dfd shows the flow of data through the system it views the system as a function that transform the inputs into desired outputs any complex system does not perform the transformation in single step but undergoes into number of transformation before it becomes the output the data flow diagrams includes different units first is process process is the agent that transforms from one state to another and it is all sometimes sometimes also called as bubble the process is represented by named or labeled circle second is data flow data flow is represented by named or labeled arrow it represents the data flow in the system third is data store data store is represented by an open rectangle open rectangle should be named or labeled for example employee record or company record source or sink or external entity source means originator of data and sink means consumer of data and the source and sink is represented by labeled rectangle there are different notations for data flow diagram one notation is jordan notation and another is sarson notation jordan notation in jordan notation 
the entity is entity or source or sink is represented by rectangle and oval represents the process and open rectangle represents the data source and data flow is represented by labeled arrow and in sarsan notation an entity or source or sink is represented by rectangle whereas the process is represented by rectangle with rounded corners and data store is represented by open rectangle or sometimes represented as parallel lines and data flow is represented as named or labeled arrow there are some guidelines for creating the data flow diagram meaningly meaningful names to be given to dfd notations for example in general the verb should be used for naming the process whereas nouns should be used for external entity data flow and data store the verbs like authenticate very verify should be used da data flow diagram should be created in organized order so that it can be easily understood each process should be numbered uniquely and all the symbols used in data flow diagram should be labeled synchronous and asynchronous operations of dfd as in dfd the process is represented as circle or bubble there are two types of operations in dfd one is synchronous operation and another is asynchronous operations if two processes or bubbles are directly connected by data flow then they are called as a synchronous operation if two bubbles are connected through data store or some external entity then they are asynchronous operations in the figure the first uh, first uh, first diagram or shows the synchronous operation of two two bubbles and uh, b shows the asynchronous operation of two bubbles in the figure there are three data flows data item number flowing from process read number to validate number the data item flowing into the read number and the valid number flowing out of validate number next is how to develop the data flow model data dfd model of the system dfd shows the flow of data through a system it views the system as function that transforms the inputs into the desired outputs labeled dfd or labeled data flow diagram any complex system does not perform the transformation in single step but undergoes into the number of transformations from before it becomes the output first of all context diagram is created the context diagram is the most abstract data flow next level 1 dfd is created in the level df level 1 dfd context level dfd is decomposed into sub processes after that level 2 dfd is created and the processes of level 1 dfd is decomposed into sub processes to represent as to be represented as level 2 dfd whereas in case in in the level 3 dfd the processes of level 2 dfd are decomposed into further into uh, smaller sub levels or sub processes this process of decomposition is up to the n level and it depends upon the details required in dfd context diagram or zero level dfd the context diagram the context diagram is the most abstract data flow representation of the system it represents the entire system as single bubble or single process in the figure the banking system is represented as single process and the process banking system is represented by circle a user is the source and user is the sink source and sink are represented by rectangle and the data flows like user information transaction passbook entry registration demand draft creation online help are the are represented uh, by the arrows 
to develop the context diagram of the system it is to be analyzed to identify the different types of users who would be using the system and the kinds of data they would be inputting to the system and the kinds of data they would be receiving from the system and the context di level dfd is also called as zero level dfd level 1 dfd the figure shows the level 1 dfd in the in level 1 dfd the main process uh, of the context level uh, is divided into eight sub processes and the user entity or source is related to several processes in the bank which includes register user support and provide cash the transaction can be performed if user is already registered in the bank once the user is registered he can process or perform the transaction by the processes namely deposit check deposit cash and withdraw cash the line in the process symbol indicate the level of the process and contains a unique identifier in the form of a number the user information such as name address and account number is stored in the data store user underscore detail and which is represented uh, here by parallel line it is or it can be it can also be represented by open rectangle it is not necessary that the user is registered in the bank to have the demand draft then the details of the cash and date are stored in the data store dd underscore detail once the demand draft is prepared then it its receipt is provided to the user and the user in the figure is represented as source or sink and so as user is represented by a rectangle next is level 2 dfd or second level dfd in in second level dfd the process of level 1 dfd are further decomposed into sub processes for example when the withdraw cash process which is the process number 3 is decomposed to further levels the information collected from the level 1 dfd acts as input to the level 2 dfd withdraw cash is numbered as process number 3 so this process is decomposed into three sub processes numbered as 3.1 which is check account status and 3.2 which is a lot token and 3.3 which is update balance to withdraw the cash the bank checks the status of balance in the user's account and then token is allotted by the process allot token. After that, the balance is in the user's account is updated in the data store which is user underscore detail and is represented here as parallel line or it can also be represented as open rectangle. Level 3 DFD or third level DFD. In that case, in third level DFD, the processes of level 2 are further decomposed. For example, if the particular process of the level 2 DFD requires the elaboration, then this level is further refined to level 3 DFD. The process number 3.1 of level 2 DFD is decomposed further into 3.1.1 which is fetch account detail and 3.1.2 that is read balance and after fetching the account detail the updated data is stored in the data store account detail which is represented here as parallel line or it can also be represented by open, open rectangle. After the construction of DFD an analyst can perform the walkthrough and look for errors. For example, 
labeled or unlabeled uh, data flows, missing data flows, if any, missing processes, if any, or the, or the analyst can look for consistency uh, during the refinement. Steps of structured analysis. Some steps are followed uh, for construction of uh, data flow diagram. First is a study uh, to study the physical environment of the system. During this step, DFD of current non-automated system is drawn, which shows the input and output data flows. Means how the data flows through the system. What are the different processes operating on the data? While drawing the DFD for the physical environment, the analyst have to interact with the users to determine the overall process from point of view of data. In this step, the context diagram is created in which the entire system is treated as a single process. In the context diagram, all the inputs to the process, outputs from the process, source and sinks are identified and drawn. Second step is decomposition of process processes. Based on the top-down refinement, the context level process is decomposed into different levels. Next is to draw the logical equivalence DFD for physical system. During this step, DFD, DFD of the physical environment is taken and all the specific data flows are represented by their logical equivalents. The physical bubbles may be replaced by the logical processes. Bubbles that do not transform data in any form may be deleted from data flow diagram. And for example, file name file1 may be replaced by their logical equivalent. For example, uh, employee file bubble to someone office may be replaced by the issue checks bubble. Next step involves modeling the current system. During the first two steps, the current step is modeled and the next is next step is to model the new system after the changes have been incorporated. What are the data flows and what are the major processes in this new system must be determined by the analyst based upon his experience and vision. Last step is to establish the man-machine boundary. The next step is to establish the man-machine boundary by, speci by specifying that what needs to be automated and what will remain manual in the new system. Advantages of data flow diagrams. Data flow diagram provides the functional decomposition of proposed system and DFD provides the details of data flow in the proposed system. DFD communicates the existing existing system knowledge to the stakeholders dear students if you have not seen the previous videos of this channel then there is a link for playlist of all the previous videos